Hello friends, in today's question, a simple pendulum oscillating in air has a period T. The bob of the pendulum is completely immersed in a non-viscous liquid. The density of the liquid is 1 16th of the material of the bob. If the bob is inside the liquid all the time, its period of oscillation in this liquid will be. So in this case, the liquid is put inside the bob and we have to find out what will be its period of oscillation. So the standard formula for the period time period of oscillation rather, we can write it that time period of simple pendulum, time period of simple pendulum it is given as t is equal to 2 pi square root of l upon g where l is equal to length of pendulum and g is acceleration due to gravity and this is when the pendulum is in uh, in the air and let us find out what happens when the pendulum is immersed in the liquid effect of immersion in liquid effect of immersion in liquid So when the pendulum or we can say bob is immersed in the liquid, there will be a buoyant force which will be acting on that bob in the upward direction. When the bob or we can say pendulum is immersed in the liquid. immersed in liquid there is a buoyant force buoyant force acting upward upward which reduces the effective weight of the bob which reduces the effective weight of the bomb and this buoyant force is proportional to the amount of the liquid displaced The buoyant force buoyant force is proportional to displace liquid to displace liquids weight so therefore the effective gravitational force that will be acting on the bob is reduced because of this buoyancy so you can say therefore effective gravitational force gravitational force let us call that as g effective acting on the bob acting 
on the bob is reduced because of the buoyancy is reduced because of this buoyancy so we can write the formula that is our g effective will be equal to g and this is 1 minus density of the liquid divided by density of the bob your material so let us drive this particular relationship so we can say that weight in the air weight in the air so the force acting on the pendulum due to gravity is you can say directly related to its weight so we can write that force acting on the pendulum here mainly the pendulum means we are discussing the bob part because the main mass is associated with the bob the string which is connecting the bomb to uh, bob to the ceiling or a fixed point is idly taken as massless due to gravity is simply its weight simply its weight therefore we can write that at fg will be equal to mass of the bob multiplied by g now we are going to find out what will be the weight in the liquid weight in the liquid or along with that we are also going to find out the buoyant force weight in the liquid or we can say buoyant force and we already said or discussed that when the bob is fully immersed the liquid exerts a upward buoyant force when the bob is fully immersed in liquid the liquid exerts upward buoyant force and the magnitude of the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the bob the magnitude of buoyant force is equal to weight of liquid displaced by the bob and this buoyant force let us suppose is denoted as f 
of B. So we can write that our Fp will be equal to density of the liquid multiply the volume of the pop multiply by G and where this rho liquid is our density of liquid and V bob is volume of the bob and we know that this point force is going to act in upward direction reducing the net downward force or net downward force means it is going to reduce the weight of the bob this bind force acts upward reducing reducing net downward force net downward force which basically means weight on the bulb. So let us find out what will be the net force on the bob or we can say effective weight of the bob. Net force on the bob. Net force on the bob or we can say effective weight. So F net, it is a net force, will be equal to Fg minus Fb and we substitute the value Fg is our m mass of the bob multiplied by g minus and we have here rho liquid multiplied by volume of bob multiplied by g. And we can write that mass of the bob that is MOB will be equal to density of the bob multiplied by volume of the bob. Where this rho bob is density of bob and V bob is volume of the bob. Therefore, we can substitute the value and we are going to get this as F net is equal to rho bob volume bob G minus rho liquid volume of bob and multiply by G. So we can take common rho and v. So we get this as rho of bob, volume of bob and we get sorry uh, I made mistake. We can take common as volume of the bob and g. Volume of the bob multiplied by g will be equal to rho of the bob minus rho of the liquid and now we can find out what will be the effective gravitational acceleration okay f net basically so we can say the effective weight in the liquid effective gravitational acceleration which we are going to write as G effective 
disable fnet so we can see the effective weight in the liquid the effective weight in the liquid will be equal to F net is equal to mass of the bob and we have here G effective so we substitute value we get our mass of the bob G effective is equal to volume of the bob multiplied by G and here we have density of the bob minus density of the liquid and mass of the bob we already know is equal to density multiply with volume and this is g effective is equal to volume of the bob multiplied by g and where we have we can take uh, rho bob as constant so th sorry out of side the bracket so this will be rho liquid divided by rho bob and multiply by rho bob so this density cancels out and volume cancels out so we get g effective is equal to g 1 minus rho liquid divided by rho bob and this was the formula which we have used now it is simple substituting the values in the question itself we are given that the density of the liquid to density of the bob of the material is given as 1 by 60 so we can write g effective will be equal to g 1 minus 1 upon 16 so this comes as 15 by 16 multiplied by g so new time period of the pendulum in the liquid new time period of pendulum in liquid it is given as T liquid will be equal to 2 pi square root of L upon G effective we already calculated G effective substituting the value we can write T liquid will be equal to 2 pi square root of L and this becomes 15 divided by 16 times G which we taken as 4 will be our outside the square root so this comes 2 pi and we get L upon G and we can take it as a square root of 15 also outside and this is our T so therefore we get the time period in the liquid is equal to 4 upon square root of 15 times t so the options that are available to us is option number d is the correct option so you can say option D is correct option D is correct so this completes the question thank you